was a scary situation for amusement park goers after a popular ride flipped over at a park in Kentucky. Yeah, nearly a dozen people were seriously hurt on Saturday, and now a lawsuit has been filed. New at 6 tonight. One of the victims is sharing her story, and our Chris Conti spoke exclusively with a woman who's now taking legal, legal action, Chris. And she is worried because she believes Beach Bend Park didn't properly train their employees to deal with the kind of ride that she was on on Saturday. That woman also had her nine-year-old with her during this terrifying ordeal. It was packed. It was pretty busy. People come to Beach Bend Park to be pushed to the edge. If we were not along. At all. But what happened to Tanya Cooper on Saturday was far scarier than any ride she's ever been on. Probably one of the worst things I've ever been, ever been through in my life. Tanya and her nine year old daughter Taylor were on the park's jitterbug swings. We went about maybe four or five, I don't know, six laps in the air, and then we heard a crack. That loud crack was an ominous precursor to the moments which followed. The guy and I both started screaming, stop the dang ride, you know, stop the ride. The swings packed with people suddenly tipped over. All I know is I heard the cracks and I felt the wobble and I was slammed into the tower. With a chain wrapped around her leg, Tanya was trapped and couldn't find her nine-year-old. Where's my daughter? I couldn't move to, to find out where she was. Um, I saw my boyfriend jump across and jump onto the tower and he asked me if I was okay. I said just find Taylor and he found her and he come back down. He said she's okay. Her back now broken. I'm just in pain. And sense of security shattered. Just in pain. Tanya has decided to sue Beach Bend Park. She claims the ride operator walked away moments after the swing started. It could have been way worse. I mean people could have lost their lives and I just want to make sure this don't happen again. I think it's pretty obvious that Beach Bend did something wrong. People may come to this park to be pushed to the edge, but this is not the kind of ride Tanya wants anyone else to experience. You know, there's going to be a lot of people that are going to be traumatized like from this for life. Investigators from the Kentucky Agricultural Department are now investigating to try and determine how that ride flipped over. Tanya also believes that too many people were loaded onto it, which may have explained why so much weight was put onto one side. Live in the newsroom this evening, Chris Conti, News Channel 5 HD.